Hello friends, in this video we are going to see typewriter effect, something like this. So let's begin. For this effect, we need two types of things. First is letters and second is blinking carousel. So let's create first blinking carousel. So hit F and create a frame like uh, just, just like this. Uh, we can change the dimension later according to our need. So I'm going to change this color to this blue color. And uh, create a component, add a variant, head over to right hand side and click on this eye up icon to hide this. Now go to prototype and I'm going to connect the first one to second and this will be after delay of 200 millisecond. Animation will be instant. Uh, now second thing we need uh, letters so hit T and I'm going to write items so we need to, to match the typography I'm going to put uh, the letter in this frame so what is the font size it is 100 and letter spacing will be 0% so let's see it is already 100 okay so what will I do go to asset and rank the component here let's increase the component size it like it should be 12 or 13 yes and uh, this will be like 95 okay now select both and align center okay let me change the color press i and you can choose the color from this one now select both and put it in a frame this will be frame 2 let's rename it text okay so now what I will do, go to right hand side and click content. Now for the effect, it should be visible like one by one letters. So we have to hide the uh, we have to hide the rest of the letters. But uh, this is not working because our carousel is also hidden. So what will we do? Select the carousel and go to right hand side and here this is constraint so we will change the constraint left to put this uh, right and this is stop already so it will not be hidden now so yes this is fine okay so select the text and select the frame and go to right hand side and create component now we have to add variants to it so click on this right hand side plus icon add variant now we have to unmask one by one each letter something like this let's enlarge the component box and to drag it a little right add one more variant drag one more Again, unmask one more item. Sorry, unmask one more letter. Something like this. And we will mask it again. just like this please watch very carefully and I'm going to hide this completely 
now i want to write uh, some other letter here so what to can we do just unmask it all and on the items okay so let's enlarge this again Yes, this is fine. So I'm going to mask one by one later again. Try to variant. I guess you have understood how I'm doing this. But wait for the prototype connection. That is very interesting. I'm trying to do it a little fast. So we have all here. Now it's time to do prototype. So go to prototype and connect to first variant to second. And trigger will be after delay of 200 milliseconds. And animation will be instant. Let's connect second to third. Third to fourth. Actually, it is going to take uh, a lot of time, so I'm going to do something else. I will select this one and go to right hand side, click on this, and uh, hit Command C. So we can copy the property from here. Now select the variant four, and uh, while holding Shift, select variant 22 we will not select to variant 23 because we are not going to do further work after variant 23 so all are selected now i will hit command b and everything is connected we need to change the destination only so both it will be connected to five yes Variant six, variant seven, eight. Do this very carefully, otherwise, you can miss it. But also, after check, after testing it, we can fix the issue. I'm going to wash all of this. If you missed which one I have connected just before that, you can look at left hand side here. So this is when we have selected variant 11, so it should be connected to variant 12. Simple. Yes, yeah, this is little time taking. So yes, we have almost done. I want to do one more thing here. So it uh, delay will be of uh, 800 milliseconds so that we can stay a little bit there after completing one part. Go to a set and drag the component here. Can see this is auto layout here so 
I want to put this exactly like here. So what will I do? Select this component and go to right hand side. You can see here ignore auto layout icon. So click on this and you can drag it now. Yes, this is done. So let me see if it is aligned or not. Yes, sir, it seems aligned. Okay, let's see the preview now. Something is wrong. Full words are not visible. So it is happening after a n so let's see a n and it is connected to and this was variant 12 and this should be connected to variant 13 let's see again Yes, this is fine, but uh, parasol is not visible. Why so? Let me pull it open and go to the set, drag the parasol. okay i forgot to reconnect the carousel like uh, remove this one i have connected this visual carousel to invisible but uh, did not connect it back it should work now Let's resize it. Yes. All right, it is working. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.